Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about recreation centers and how you find out information on all things regarding recreation. Let's go ahead and get started. My name is Rusty Nelson and welcome to this YouTube channel, which originally started when I first called the villages. If you want to go back, watch that one. And it has continued up to where I just bought a house a few months ago and now I'm doing more videos, probably more because I'm having fun doing these and that's about it. And so welcome to the channel. Please, if you would, let me explain something really quick. Subscribe. Subscribing doesn't do anything except notify you of when videos come out and ring the upper bell. That's it. You don't have to pay anything anymore. I don't send you anything. So just hit the subscribe button, will you? <laughs> and if you like this content, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. But the other day I was walking around and I was out doing one of these videos and somebody said to me, somebody has lived here for a little while, said, you know, I still don't understand the whole recreation center. Now think about it. Here at the Villages, most of the stuff we do actually revolves around the recreation facilities, the recreation information. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I, I thought at first I would do something just like, I'll just do the different kinds of recreation centers. And to tell you the truth, I did. I went around and shot most of the regional recreation centers. And I was going to show you all them. And I still am towards the end. And then I realized as I started to get into it, I didn't know a lot of things. And I learned more and more as I went through two different websites. So we're going to start out by going through those two different websites. I'll put the links down below and how you can get to them. And you're going to be able to find out most of the information about the recreation centers through these two different websites. And we'll go ahead and cover different information. Now, this is going to take me a little while to put this together. So you're probably going to see me change out of different clothes and you'll probably see different lighting, maybe even different sound. Who knows? I'm going to piece it together over time, so uh, just be patient with what I'm wearing and don't ask why I changed in and out of stuff. Let's just go ahead and jump into these couple of websites right now. All right, here we go. Uh, these two websites, I'm just going to look at these really quick, but you're going to find out there's a lot of information and probably just about all the information you need to find out about the villages is on these two websites. And first off, the first one is district.gov, which is right here. Now, let me get me off of here. Okay, because you don't need to see me on this. And on this probably has just about everything you need to know about the villages. Right now, we're on the home. You go across the top here is district, committee, departments, which we're going to be concerned about here in a second. Down the left-hand side, you're going to see all types of things. If you go into Recreation and Parks publication, I'm going to show you where it will take you here when we move to the next website. But what you really want to look at is right up dead center here, go to the departments and go to Recreation. And that's going to take you over to the Recreation side. On the left-hand side is Welcome to Recreation, Recreation Events, right? So here's Welcome to Recreation. Recreation Events is all different types of events that are happening. Uh, resident Life, the clubs, the contacts. Now, this is great because you're going to jump over here, and here is 100, if you look up top here, 185 pages of clubs that are on here and I go all the way down to the bottom information that you can find out about different clubs if you want to find out about a specific thing just hit control f if you're on a windows type in your keyword like photo and there you will have you can probably find different photo clubs that you look down here. Now, I don't want to get into this too much, but that's just to give you an idea of what's under that. Sorry about the noise. I got trucks going by. Recreation center information. So here you can go to, and I'll just show you really quick, uh, recreation map. And this is great 
for information regarding all the different types of recreation centers. And we're going to jump into this a little more in, um, in a short period of time. And down here is the key to the different things that are at the recreation center. And that also includes different types of pools. And speaking of uh, pools, we'll go over those also. Lost and found, smoke-free. Here's about the um, Brownwood Paddock uh, Square Wood Shop, uh, which I believe is the second wood shop. Fitness clubs. Come over here and learn about the pricing of fitness clubs, and we'll see how that fits into the uh, recreation centers here, how to reserve rooms, parks and fishing, uh, the villages, uh, oops, villages parks. So here's a map of all the different parks, the hours, and where they are located. And you can see how all this is combined with the recreation centers. Jump down here to pools. Types of pools, we're going to cover that. Just about everything you want to know is going to be under departments and then recreation. The next website is the Daily Sun. And you're probably going to go, well, okay, well, why do I need a, the, Daily, the Daily Sun? Well, I can tell you right now, and I'll show you where to get these, uh, what we're going to look at here in a second. So this also, if you go like this, it also connects you into the local clubs Recreation and Parks Publication, Recreation Lifestyle Club Submission. So if you want to submit to open up a new club, you can go ahead and do that. It's very easy. A lot of people ask, what happens if there isn't a club to deal with what I like to deal with? Well, go ahead and create your own one, own club. So if you go over here to Parks and Recreations, you're going to have a... Um, it's almost like a magazine that comes out every Thursday, and I'll show you as we go through the different rec centers where you can find these at the rec centers, or you can just come on to the website here and flick through this. Now, we're going to flick through one of these, but I'm going to show you really quick how this works, and it's basically like a digital magazine, and you just kind of go through it, but we're going to go through that in a little bit here afterwards. There we go, the two websites that we need to be concerned about districtgov.org and the Daily Sun. And I will put those links down below so it's easy for you to get to. How's the rest of this video going to go? I it, it, it can get very complicated and I'm going to try not to dig too far into it. But basically what I'm going to do is jump back to those two different websites and that's going to lead us into some other areas. And then I went and did some video of the different types of pools and the different types of rec centers and how they all fit in uh, with drone shots and inside. So we'll get to take a look at those. Most of them were during the holiday season for the regional rec centers, which are the larger ones. So you'll get to see those and they each really do have their own personality and offer different um, recreation activities for people and even sales offices in some of them. Let's go ahead and jump back to the districtgov.org and we'll see where that kind of takes us. And then we'll jump over to the Daily Sun. Here we go. The Villages Community Development Districts is what you're going to see right at the top there and home. And remember, we want to go to departments and go to recreation. And that's going to click us into this where we're welcome to the recreation centers. Now, first thing you're going to see is kind of some information about the rec centers and things you may need to think of. Some primary things like always carry your ID with you because they do sometimes check them. And then this is also John Rohan, which one of the rec centers was named after uh, he is the head of recreation. He's been there for, I think, ever. And uh, there is a lot of people that actually work in this system. I think like five or 600 people between the full-time and part-time people. But let's, let's take a look at some stuff here. Welcome to the Recreation Center. That's where we are. Recreation events. If you go to this part, it will cover a lot of the events that are taking currently taking place and in the near future. 
there's a lot you can just click through on the left and the right. And then there's kind of like ads that go across the top, but they're kind of cool things you may want to take a look at. And it's all about learning, learning about the villages, because like I said before, the recreation facilities are a major part of the villages. Remember, we went through this. This is a list of all of the uh, resident lifestyle clubs and contacts. That's uh, kind of important as you try to learn your way around. Here is something that I actually, this is a map of all of the recreation centers and the legend down here in the right. Now, let me see whether I can click this up. Hang on one second. And I'll show you, I actually... As I was learning and driving around in my golf cart, I actually made a larger map, printed one out of this. And you can see it's kind of a, a copy of this. Let's jump back in here. I, I carry it around with me, uh, either in a golf cart or my car. Looking at the legend on the right here, the actual administration, the main office, and they all do different things and have different services, and this will help you out. So the main office of the rec center is up here near uh, Lake Sumter. And go back down to the, the uh, legend down here, and there are three basic types of rec centers. There's the neighborhood rec center, and we're going to take a look at those and, and what you will find at those. And the Village Recreation Center, which is kind of like a medium size rec center. And then the Regional Rec Center, which you're going to get to see probably 80% of those. And you'll get to see the different personalities of each one of those, along with the Village Rec Centers. And also neighborhood rec centers uh, tend to be different. Now, a lot of people group things together and they'll talk about, well, this pool, this rec center has these type of pools and everything. But I'm telling you right now from experience, each one of these has its own personality and has little quirks and has things and doesn't have things, which we're going to take a look at now. Also, oh, let's jump across here, recreation center types. And that's what we were just talking about. So there are three different types of recreation centers genu genuinely. And the smallest of them is down... Whoop, down here is a regional rec center, and the neighborhood rec center area may consist of attached postal facility, which most of them do, a pool, bocce court, shuffleboard court, and horseshoe pit available for residents. Well, as we'll see in some of these uh, videos that I took, some of these neighborhood rec centers, signified by N NRC, uh, also have some other things, like there's some that have um, pickleball courts near them. Then there's the village recreation centers, which will, I think I have a video of aviary and stuff like that, and we'll go take a look at those and what they may have. And it says village recreation centers may consist of meeting rooms, card rooms, billiards halls. I know they have darts, shuffleboard, kitchens, pool and outdoor facilities. And a lot of them have, uh, you know, pickleball attached, tennis courts, that type of thing. And then the regional rec centers, which we're going to take a look at also, uh, are a lot larger. And you'll see those scattered throughout the evenly throughout. And we'll actually go up and take a look at the one of the first recreation centers and then also some of the most recent. But each one of these has different types of pools and once again, you can find out all that information on here. And we did uh, recreation center locations, which this is just the physical address. The other was the map. So you can see where the lost and founds are. Um, AED, these are the uh, fibrillation, the, the hard things, I think. And smoking policies. Wireless access, which is pretty cool. A lot of these places have wireless access, which you can get on to the internet. The other thing, too, is the fit clubs. So certain facilities also have workout facilities. Now, these are the current. I hate to put prices up for anything because things change so much. But these are the current facility membership fees and the guest membership fees. These are the facilities where you will find them. There's also outdoor workout facilities. We'll take a look at some of those. But some of the people complain about, you know, having to pay extra money 
for these workout areas, but you know, it, it, it is a benefit and not everybody uses it and, and it's not horribly expensive. All right, let's jump up here and keep going. Uh, you know, weather policy, let's see, Brownwood Paddock, the, the wood shop, which is part of the recreation area. This is pretty cool. There is a membership. I know there is a long line to get in there. So you may want to take a look at that and sign up early. Uh, we did the Fit Club, guest information, guest guidelines, ID card service. You can get done at the different service type rec centers. As most of you know, volunteering at the villages is a huge part of the villages. It simply is because a lot of people are generous with their time simply because we got a lot of time. We're retired. A lot of us parks and fishing information on on that. Here's like, like if you take a look, here's all the different parks that are around the areas. Fishing information, which a lot of people ask about that. There's actually a fishing map in there. So as you can see, and some of these are attached close by the different rec centers. Sports activity schedules. If you want to learn about outdoor court guidelines, also, there's a lot of instruction, uh, like for instance here, pickleball, beginning pickleball schedule, where that takes place. And a lot of these you do have to sign up for ahead of time. Tournament schedules and outdoor facility use and application. If you want to use certain facilities, you have to uh, apply for them. Now, here we go. Swimming pools and information and guidelines. Types of swimming pools. There are three different types of swimming pools, and we're actually going to take a look at those uh, once we jump over to the video. There's a sports pool and the neighborhood adult pool and the family pool. And I, if you're a pool user, I definitely would go and refer to the rules. For instance, a sport pool is for all residents only. So that's the only way you're going to get into a sports pool and that's 30 and above as far as age goes. The neighborhood adult pools are for all residents and guests 30 and above. And you can see the hours right there. And the family pools are for residents and guests regardless of age. And you, you need to look at the rules for each one of these uh, and, and keep it fair for everybody the pools are generally kept from 81 to 84. And like I said, we'll take a, a look at those when we get to the video in, in a little bit. So here's information on sport pool guidelines and adult guidelines. I'm not going to go through all those because you can read it yourself. All right. That was districtgov.org. Now there's a second part to the information, the Daily Sun which we're going to get into right now. But it's actually the next day since this is taking so long. And I actually went home and shaved. And I'm going to break this up into two parts simply because it would be way too long to make it one video. So the second part, which will be pretty much all visual, will be mostly drone and walking through the different rec centers and pools and stuff like that. That'll come in a day or two after this. But let's go ahead and jump into the Daily Sun. And this, I, you know, I, I consider this kind of almost like the Bible of the villages because the reason you go to the villages is to be active, pretty much. And most people are active. And if you want to get involved in things, you pretty much got to know where to find that information. So let's jump into the Daily Sun and see how that works. Here we go, the Daily Sun, the Village's Daily Sun. And I actually get the, so there's three versions. You can get it delivered to your house. You can look at it on the web. And then you can also get the app. And I have the app and I get it delivered. The cool thing about getting it delivered to your house is that, so I'm back and forth and I have a year subscription to it. And I like, if you look at some of my other videos, I actually have me reading the newspaper because it's kind of become part of my life to figure out what is going on in the villages. And I would actually, your first year, I would highly suggest you get it for your first year down there. Um, don't be a cheapy. Uh, you'll miss out on stuff if you don't. And so this is the digital version that's on the web, and that's what we're going to look at. Now, the other way you can get this for free 
what we're going to look at here, if you go up to the recreation center, now let me get, get me off of here. We don't need me anymore. If we go up to the rec center here and the recreation and parks publication, this is the digital version that you'll get on the web that you can get on, on the desktop. That's what we're looking at right now. I'm going to kind of expand this a little more. The other version you can get, if you go to like the regional rec centers, they will have on Thursday mornings, the newest version of this, and you can pick up a copy of it. But as you can see, uh, this is the end of the year, so 2021. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but it, it has a lot of interesting stuff in it. The amenities key, you'll see where they go here in a few seconds, but it has a very useful map that's separated this time into areas. So when we turn over to pages four and five here, you're going to see that is the Mulberry Grove area, which is way up north here. So let's go ahead and do that. Each one of these, you can tell this is a different type of rec center down, down here. And the crosses are the at your service where you can get services done throughout the villages, such as IDs and all that, the guest IDs, that type of thing. Basically, each area is set up like this. So Mulberry Grove, and it has each one of the rec centers and tells you what type of pool, like here's a sports pool and all the activities that are at each one of those rec centers. And then spread out throughout, if you look on the bottom right side here, spread throughout the publication are things about pickleball. And I believe if you go on to the next page, here's platform tennis instruction program. And so you can see this is Paradise, which is also up north. In the, in the next video, we're going to go up and see Paradise. Uh, pickleball ratings clinics. And if you're thinking about doing that, I know it is tough to get into. There's a lot of people going through that. There's also shows you a lot of information that is at each one of the rec centers. So here you see La Hacienda, La Mona, uh, Miona, and Eisenhower, Rohan. They all have services at each one of those. And we'll kind of flick through this really quick because there's some interesting stuff on here. Uh, there's some advertisements, 50th anniversary, buffet dinner, uh, so sea breeze, and we're actually moving down into, like we're down to Eisenhower already. Uh, ballroom dance uh, type thing, you'll see little advertisements here about what's going on at each area. Uh, Joe's Monday morning shuffleboard, it's kind of like a advertisement for a group, I guess. And as the seasons change, the decorating contest, they had a decorating contest throughout the villages. Then it goes on to talk about sports pools and each one of the pools and what is going on at that pool. So you can see this is pretty comprehensive and you can see why you'd like to have this. So here you have advanced water ball group. So it's a group uh, obviously dedicated to that. And we'll take a look at this in a second. Types of pools and reminds you of what the rules are with each pool along with the hours. Then it goes into talking about clubs and it has all of the websites. Now, I will say that I, I believe, I believe this is, is not totally comprehensive. And the reason I say that is because uh, I, I belong, and I'm sure you've seen in my other videos, single in the villages. Uh, that is not on here. And neither of the three photography groups, which obviously I'm, I'm really familiar with. So I think that the list that we saw earlier, um, about the different clubs at the rec centers and stuff is much more complete because I think you actually have to file to get in this and get on here. Uh, I'll go through this. These are the different groups and even on these, you can see specialty groups. I mean, Fields of Maybury, General Federation of Women's Clubs, Sassy, Italian American Club, Thrive Club. There's all different types of smaller clubs in here. Villages, Civil War Study. So you can see there's just about something for everybody. But like I said, no photography. And the photography clubs are, are pretty big. I don't know why they're not in there under their own area. But here's different states. Um, so Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Three Rivers area, they all have clubs and I guess get-togethers and such. 
And so have you tried uh, Fun Shine Bingo? What would a retirement area be without Bingo? Get your uh, recreational info. And this is where I talked about on the right-hand side here. You actually have the app and you can get Every Thursday, the Village's Daily Sun comes out. And like I said, you can get those at the rec center. I'm looking right down here in the middle. Um, and on the go app, which is really great. I would highly advise you get that. And these are just different advertisements. Like if you want to become part of the architectural review board, here, this is brand new today. So I'm actually looking at it the first time with you guys. Uh, speaker series. Spy pilot Francis Gary Powers. Now, I, um, I know it's not him because he's dead. And as many of you know, I used to fly the U-2 spy plane. Um, so this must be his son. And this is part of the speaker series. I should go do a uh, speaker series on storm chasing. That would be kind of fun. And sports challenge area, recreational sports challenge 2022. Pretty interesting. All different types of ads back here. And then there is a social calendar on the back. All right. That is the two areas that you can get information from. And I highly suggest, especially your first year down there or before you even get down there to access these bits of information in these two things, because it's overwhelming the amount of activities that go on. So it would pay to grab a cup of coffee in the morning and go through them and take a look at stuff because the last thing you want to be doing is going through and all of a sudden find a year later that there was a rock painting club that you wanted to be a part of that you didn't even know existed. This will help you out a lot or show up at a pool with things that you can't have, like glass or some other kind of floaty, a giant rubber duck or whatever you float around on, I don't know. But anyway, as soon as uh, I, as soon as I get it done, which is going to be about a day or two after this one comes out, there'll be part two of this. And basically, what I'm going to do is go back and show you that now that you know that there's different types of pools and different types of rec centers. Go back and look at some of the examples of these with the drone. And also, uh, I'll go into each one of these, especially the major uh, regional rec centers. I think I hit about 80% of them or so. So we'll go through the smaller ones, a couple of them, show you where they are, the quirks for a few, and then go and look at some of the big regional rec centers. Thank you so much for your patience and getting through this one. I really hope this helps you out. And I hope uh, this is just before the new year. So I hope you have a great new year. And stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Ring that bell that says all on there. And you will get notified when you come back up on YouTube. I don't send you anything. So go ahead and do it. Subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will either see you down in the villages or I'll see you back here on part two.